In Commitment 2024, former President Donald Trump has been removed from the primary ballot in Colorado after a decision by that state's Supreme Court. The court ruled that he violated the 14th Amendment, which banned someone who incites an insurrection from running for office. We're joined now by Assistant Professor Daniel Pye with the UNH Franklin Pierce School of Law. Professor, thanks for being here with us. So, uh, look, 14th Amendment challenges have failed in many other states, including right here in New Hampshire. We now have this one from Colorado where they say, yes, he can not be on the ballot because of this. So is this now ultimately can only be squared by the U.S. Supreme Court? And do you think they actually take this case up? Yeah, that's right. So the only court that can review the decision of the Colorado Supreme Court would be the U.S. Supreme Court. Uh, and there are a number of U.S. constitutional issues that the Supreme Court would have to decide. Um, I would bet uh, a lot of money that the U.S. Supreme Court will hear this case um, and they will probably grant it expedited review, which means that they'll hear it uh, and give it a faster process than they would ordinarily give to cases that make it up to the highest court. Well, states are in charge of their own elections. So does the Supreme Court even have a purview here? Yeah, it does, because there are a number of constitutional questions that would trump the state issues, right? So Colorado, uh, the Colorado Code gives the uh, the court's uh, jurisdiction to decide issues um, it, relating to federal elections, but uh, issues relating to the First Amendment right to free speech and also interpreting Section 3 of the 14th Amendment determining what is an officer of the United States and what counts as ins insurrection. Um, these are questions that have to be decided at the highest level of the federal system. So, Professor, you just hit on the big question I want to ask you about here, which is, do you think if the Supreme Court takes this up, they make a ruling on the big issue, which is whether or not former President Trump engaged in insurrection? Or do you think they go that more narrow route where they look at something like, you know, the the office of president is never explicitly mentioned in Article 14, Section 3. So for that reason, you know, he can be on the ballot. Do you, do you see more of a, a technical explanation coming from SCOTUS or do you see uh, more of the larger question of the insurrection itself? Uh, it necessarily has to be a technical question because uh, the fact question of whether it was an insurrection has to be decided at trial court level. And so they're going to defer to whatever the district court says, or in this case, the Colorado State District Court. Seeing so many of even Trump's opponents in the GOP presidential primary saying that they don't agree with this ruling because they don't think it should be coming from the courts. They think it should be coming from the voters. Uh, but you are saying the courts do have purview here. Yeah, to decide any question of law, uh, they certainly do. Uh, there is a... Um the courts in general are reluctant to decide political questions. And so there is going to be an argument about whether or not this is a political question that should be decided by the election and let people decide whether or not there was an insurrection and whether or not Trump is actually uh, qualified to be president. Um, that may be something that is persuasive and that affects the decision of the Supreme Court, um, but they're not ultimately going to try to decide whether uh, at, at the applet level whether or not, as a matter of fact, there was an insurrection. There is a, also a sort of legal question about where you draw the line. Uh, an insurrection is something that's more than a riot, but less than a rebellion. So where exactly is that? They would have to decide that as a matter of law. But the fact-finding question is decided at the trial court level, not at an applet court like the U.S. Supreme Court. Fascinating and so much more on this topic to come. Uh, Professor Pai with UNH Franklin, School, Franklin Pierce School of Law, thank you for joining us for this conversation. Sure, happy to be with you.